What's going on YouTube? Gios and right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to install Troll Store 2 on your device on iOS 16 and iOS 15 and stuff like that using Troll Misaka. It's a quick and easy tool that allows you to install Troll Store quite easily. We're gonna get into that in a second. The series is brought to you by Tenorshare Rayboot, which allows you to essentially start repairing your iOS system device in a couple of seconds. It can fix boot loops and of course it can fix various issues with the device being in recovery mode, DFU mode and stuff like that. You can also one click reset the device if you want to wipe everything from the device. Check the program out in the link below, it supports iOS 17 as well and a free trial is available. So the Troll Misaka is essentially a quick application that only has a few options and that is to install Troll Store and to configure the exploit. Very simple application based on the KFD, including KFD Lambda exploit and this one allows you to install Troll Store in just a couple of seconds. So I have a full guide in here on iDeviceCentral.com, a full text guide that you can read step by step, including on how to add the Troll Misaka keyboard, which is important it's part of the process, then to install Troll Store Helper and so on. But in this video we're going to see exactly how this is done. So first you would need Troll Misaka from GitHub, it's going to be this Tipa file and you can actually change the name from Tipa to IPA, you can rename it, and you have to install that with AltStore. There are issues with Sideloadly, I don't know if they were fixed or not, but they do recommend you to install it with AltStore instead of Sideloadly. Now once you have the application Troll Misaka 2.0 over here, if you open it, it should look like this, and it says it supports iOS 14 up to 15.7.x and this one is for iOS 15. Now if you want to install it on iOS 16 there are other applications available I'm going to link them below. Still the process is going to be similar. So the first thing you need to do is to add the keyboard and give it full access. You press in here on the number one and you go here to add new keyboard and of course get the third party keyboards Troll Misaka. This is important. You add this one and then you go here on the keyboard and allow full access then press allow. This is important and I did detail it here on the guide because if you don't give full access to Misaka keyboard you will not be able to get this later. You will not be able to install Troll Store Helper and stuff like that. So do give it full access, don't worry, it's not going to read anything like your keystrokes and stuff like that. And now after you have full access, you just have to make sure that the Troll Misaka is open, so open it again. And now with Troll Misaka open, go into the app switcher and then you have to power off your phone, you have to reboot it essentially. So then we can actually proceed to the next step, which is going to be installing the Troll Store Helper. I'm going to have to wait for the device to come back online, so I'm going to power it on. So now we're up to step two. The device has indeed powered on, and now what we have to do is to unlock it. If you have a passcode, it is unlocked now, and basically swipe down on the home screen so that you can open the spotlight search over here. Now what you have to do is to press the uh, globe icon and select as a keyboard the uh, different one, the Misaka keyboard. And as you can see, we're now in the Troll Misaka keyboard. That's how it's supposed to look like. You can see that it overlays the application on top of your normal windows like keyboard and stuff. Now we have to press K open. Now do keep in mind that depending on the exploit, depending on your device, this can take many, many tries because the Lenta exploit is great, it's powerful, but it's never 100% reliable. So it can panic your device, it can reboot the device, which means it failed. So I'm going to press K open and fingers crossed. And as you can see, it did fail in here. So in this case, we're going to have to do it again. I'm going to press the globe icon. All right, so after a couple of attempts, it did not reboot the phone, but it just crashed this Troll Misaka part over here. You can just tap the globe icon again and it will reopen. And finally, I was able to K open successfully in here. Now we can press install Troll Store. You press in here, it says downloading, it's going to install and do whatever it has to do. All right, so after the install Troll Store process finishes, reboot again your device. So after a quick reboot, go back into the main application and we can press install Troll Store and it says installing Troll Store. And that's it. So yes, that's how you do it. It respings the device and we're back again on the device and now we have Troll Store in there. You can open it and it installs LDID for signing purposes and you should be able to install any application you want. That's it. That's how you install Troll Store with Troll Misaka. Definitely check the tutorial out in the link below, the written tutorial. And thank you for watching. Peace out.